This is the second part of a two-part series on XML-based layout in Android. The objectives are listed here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. Alright, for this video we want to take a look at a few more things we can do to tweak our user interface when we're using the linear layout that we're going to stay with for now. In particular, we have a gravity property. We also have a layout gravity property and we want to compare and contrast the two of those. Sometimes they're confused and there's some common pitfalls that can be involved when using the layout gravity with a linear layout that we want to address. And then we also have a padding property and a margin property which are sometimes confused. We want to examine and compare and contrast those. And then we also have a weight property. And by using all of those things combined with the linear layout, um, you can get a pretty good graphical user interface going without having to spend a tremendous amount of time studying all the other layout managers and properties that can be set. And it's a good place to start and then launch off and learn other things about Android. And then as you need to tweak your user interface more, you can go back and visit some of the other layout managers that are available, like the relative layout, which probably gives you the most control but um, perhaps is a little bit uh, steeper learning curve than the linear layout. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. All I've done to get prepared for this is I've created the standard project in Eclipse and I've done nothing to it. I called it linear layout demo. Nothing to it other than remove the text view that I got for free that said hello world. Other than that, I've really done nothing else. So, uh, and I'm going to come in here and say, do something here to extract myself. You see how we see both projects here? And if I had 100 projects, I'd see all of them. One thing I wanted to show you. If I click on this one and if I say open a new window, that actually opens it up and then extracts all the other ones out of my view. And I actually prefer to do that uh, versus just seeing all the projects if I'm not going to work with them. So it just takes you down and then you can go back up if you want to. And now I'm just seeing the current project I'm working with and everything else this is out of sight. All right, so let me go back then then and go to that layout folder and start talking about a few of these properties. And to start with, I'm just going to come in here and drag and drop a button on the screen. And I'm also going to look to see that I'm in vertical mode Okay, for my linear layout. It's in vertical mode, meaning I'm going to add one thing after another going down the screen. And so the first property I want to talk about is the gravity property. And I can click on here. I think I'll use the uh, Eclipse interface rather than working directly with the text file so you can see the result of what I'm doing automatically. If I come in here and I say other properties, you'll see that there are layout parameters. And one of the things I can set is the layout gravity. I said we'd talk about gravity and layout gravity. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk first set the layout gravity, and I'm going to go to center. And you can see, remember, I'm a vertical linear layout. And I set a property that has to do with its horizontal positioning, and it worked just fine. I said let's center that. And if I come in here, and again, what did that do? All it did was add the layout property and set it to center here. And then if I come in here again and I can set my other properties, layout parameters, layout gravity, um, I'm going to go ahead and unselect that and say I want to be selected to the, and again I, got, I hate dealing with these menus, uh, other properties, layout parameters, layout gravity, And I'm going to go with uh, left. Now notice something here. That when we have more than one selected, it puts a pipe symbol between the two of them, and it leaves them both. And it doesn't really make sense to be set to center and left. It makes sense to be centered to set to centered, or to be sent to left, or be sent to right, but not to all three. And so it, sometimes you can combine, and again, we're getting that artifact. You've seen everything in here twice. When that happens, we need to close it. After we've saved it, I hit Control S and reopen it. So a lot of these properties that we set, like the gravity property, 
if we want more than one, we can put a pipe symbol between them and then these two are added together. However, when they're competing, there's one that takes priority. And it just doesn't make sense to set both of those at the same time. So you can see the left one out over centered. And the other thing we can see, and let me just go ahead and do this in text mode because it'll be faster. Say, well, what would happen if I sent that to right? And we can see that it worked correctly and set the button over to the right. Of course, if I had that button switched uh, set to the full width, uh, that wouldn't have had any effect. Now, the other thing I wanted to address is that here's one of the common pitfalls is I have my linear layout orientation sent to vertical, adding things top down. And so the only properties that are going to work are the properties that work in the horizontal pane. Because if I come in here and try to set some other properties, and I think I will just do this in XML, the menus are just too slow. And I say, what are the other properties? And if I set it to bottom, we're going to see that that has absolutely no effect. 